Welcome back. In the previous part, Reem became a professor, and we had a lot of Toa. So I can't really complain at all, can I? Enough Toa to satisfy everyone. Ooh, wind turbines. Not very windy today from the looks of it, though. So what's this place? Has anybody seen the film The Cube? I'm assuming it's like that. Wow. I looked over the blueprints, but I didn't think it'd be this big. Don't get so excited. This facility is nothing remarkable. As I explained before, much of your duties will be performed here under my direction. I expect nothing short of raw talent from a Russell. Uh, yes, sir. So, she's a student here after all. I could swear I've heard the name Russell somewhere before. Likewise. But more importantly... What the hell is this big giant cube thing over there? I, I mean the pink-haired girl, of course. Still need her backstory. The weir class 7 is clearly no coincidence. I mean, the fact she's here is not a coincidence either, is it? Only three students, and she's one of them. Combat tactics and military finance are undergoing their orientations at the moment. Special operations will be having an orienteering exercise. You must make it through this facility in one piece. <laughs> in one piece? What does that mean? Cosplay, obviously. One piece cosplay. What is this building for? Brewery. It's called Einhell Keep. It was built in conjunction with the branch campus for testing new methods of training. The interior is fully controllable via orbital technology and features variable difficulty levels. As for your exercise, you will be combating monsters and such unleashed within the keep. What? M monsters? That's a joke, right? Now I understand. Special operations, indeed. I guess this is a fitting enough exercise, given our class's name. And it's not just for my students, either, is it? It helps that you're quick on the uptake. That said, don't assume it will be the same as the Class 7 you were part of. Rather than an experimental clash between social classes, this one will act as an established task force for assignments in the field. And as its instructor, you will have your students see each assignment through. It's all starting to come together. H hold on just a second! We did what you said and came here, but what the heck is all this crap? Part of the school curriculum. This is what you signed up for. This is just... <sighs> I mean, no one ever told me I was being put in some shady Black Ops squad. Well, why would they? It's a Black Ops squad. Your placement in Class 7 is the result of your aptitude test, Cadet Crawford. If you are dissatisfied, you have the option to pack your bags and return to the Military Police Academy. <sighs> That's all the way in Crossbell. I've yet to accept the situation, but I understand it now, at the very least. Can you give us more details? Certainly. Instructor Schwarzer and the three of you will enter the keep and stand by for further instructions. Oh, we got some Master Quartz. Michael handed Reen four Master Quartz. While on standby, they will explain their qualifications as you brief them on the use of the Arcus II. This time it's personal. Understood. Bah. Finally, we can begin the trial. Disciple candidate, don't dawdle. Everything must be up and running in ten minutes. Yes. Ten minutes? Does it really take that long, Schmidt? I would have expected better from you. Don't you just admire the door? Go inside already. Come, come now, Schmidt. It is very high tech, though. Damn. Looks like this school's even more messed up than I'd heard. I'd prefer if non affiliates stayed off the premises. Oh, it's the guy from the train, the one that was with, um, Russell. The goggles girl. <laughs> Take it easy. I ain't here to cause trouble. As soon as she's done with her orientation, I'm getting the hell out of here. Very well. 
You may have been referred here by the royal family, but don't forget your place. That extends to any actions you and your friends will take in the Empire from here on out. <laughs> I'd say that's up to you guys, you know? You got a whole country up to its neck in plots and schemes, and then a screwed up school like this pops up out of nowhere. Really makes you wonder who's pulling the strings around here. The Chancellor. I suppose I should have expected as much from an A-rank bracer. Oh, he's a bracer, is he? I wonder if he knows Sarah. I mean, they all seem to know each other. Or Toll, maybe. I bet they do. They probably work together at some point. Why are you only using the right-hand side of the keyboard? Surely you should use all of it. It's very clean, this place. A facility full of untested mechanisms certainly sounds like a playground for the professor. So how much do you already know? Nothing too specific. The above ground portion is a cube measuring 50 arch on each side, and the below ground area is still being expanded. Hmm? Are the two of you already acquainted? We are. I just had no idea she'd be one of my students. But that's neither here nor there. Let's start with introductions while everything's being prepped. I just got here earlier today, so I'm sorry I haven't had time to speak with you two yet. I'm... Blackhead Boy. Why even bother introducing yourself? We all know you're Reen Schwarzer, the Ashen Chevalier. The big hero who put an end to the Erebonian Civil War when he was just a student. Not to mention the occupation of Crossbell. I'm sure everyone in Erebonia knows who you are. Probably everyone in Crossbell, too. Yeah, Divertisement really gave us the impression they don't like Reen. <sighs> in addition, you resolved incident after incident across the Empire as part of your schoolwork. Then, during the Northern War last October, you worked alongside General Le Guin and Brigadier General Bardius to annex North Ambria. Le Guin? Like, our principal? The very one. Wait, what? And he helped occupy North Ambria? Death stare. That's erroneous. The actual circumstances were... You're both very well informed. Though, calling me a hero is a bit much. I'd still like to say a little bit about myself. As you know, I'm Reen Schwarzer. I'm a graduate of Thor's Military Academy's main campus. I got my diploma just last month, and I'm starting as an instructor here at the branch campus today. I'll be overseeing martial arts and panzer soldat training outside the classroom. Inside the classroom, I'll be teaching history. That is, of course, in addition to being the homeroom teacher for Class 7 Special Operations. <sighs> I'll go next. My name is Claude, and I hail from the Lester of oh, uh, Kurt Vander, of course, yes. My name is Kurt Vander. I'm from the capital. Vander, though. I've heard more than just the common stories about you. You're a Vander. That would make you General Zex and Lieutenant Colonel Mueller's... Mueller is my older brother, and Zex is my uncle. Though I'm aware I look nothing like them, right up to my hair. Yeah. Which I would say is silver, not blue. But okay. It's true, he doesn't have dark hair or even a similar build. He could have been adopted, similar to you, Reen. By the way, are those glasses fake? They don't look good on you at all. You should probably get rid of them. Well, I thought he looked good in them. Oof. <laughs> Fashion is clearly not their intended function. <sighs> all right, I get it. They don't look good. No need to rub it in. Nice to meet you, Kurt. You're up next. <sighs> Fine. Oh, brother. Well, we do need a name. It's it's better than calling you Pink Head Girl, so... I'm assuming it's pronounced Yuna. I'm Yuna Crawford. I transferred here from the Crossbell Police Academy. And honestly, I'd rather not be here. But if that's how it's gonna be, then I'll just have to make the most of it. Ah, Crossbell. I had my suspicions. Yeah, those weapons gave it away. So, when you say police academy, you're talking about the military police academy, right? 
There was no military slapped on the name before the annexation. You guys are the ones who changed it. Are you saying I can only call it by the official name the great and powerful Erebonia has blessed it with? No, that's not what I meant. Sorry. I was being insensitive. <laughs> well, I might have overreacted. But I still don't accept that name. Yeah. That's completely understandable. Hmm? I'm last then. Well, I think we have a suspicion as to who you are, Altina. But Reen does anyway. Altina Orion, formerly part of the Imperial Army's Intelligence Division. Should you be telling them that piece of information? Uh, isn't that classified? My affiliation with them ended upon my enrollment here. On paper. On paper? But in practice? Please, think nothing of it. I feel as though I've just heard something I shouldn't have. Probably. The intelligence division is pretty hardcore, isn't it? Hold up! What do you mean, on paper? Slip of the tongue. Oops. What do you mean, oops? <laughs> There's that snark. Thank you for waiting. Preparations are now complete for the level zero Einhell trial. If you haven't already, please set your Arcus 2s now. Is that the girl from earlier? I was under the impression she was a student like us. Understood. Give us just a moment. Each of you were given one of these, right? Ah, that. I was sent one, but I haven't turned it on yet. It's a battle ornament. Normal battle ornaments are personal devices that link with their user and can produce a variety of effects. They can improve your physical abilities and allow you to cast orbital arts, among other things. But this is the newest model, the Arcus II. It has a few additional functions. Interesting. It's a little different from the Enigma models in Crossbell. To be precise, they are the product of a collaboration between the Reinford Company and Epstein Foundation. I assume these models are combat ready? Yeah, I'll explain how they work. Now, each of you take one of these. Reen handed a Master Court to each of the three students. We get master courts? The Enigmas did have these. The basics should be the same. Go ahead and set your master courts in the central slot. Yes, sir. Uh, here? I should set mine while they're at it. Ah, good. We're finally gonna get some tutorials and stuff now. That's something I wanted. It's similar to Cold Steel 1 from the looks of it, where it just sort of like drops you into it and then slowly starts drip feeding all the tutorials as you progress through the start of the game. Orbits, a general term for mechanical devices that extract orbital energy from Septian and use it to generate magical effects and enhancements. Battle Orbits Arcus 2, personal use device that can harness orbital energy a variety of ways depending on the quartz set in it. Since they are tailor made for their users, the Orbits internal structure varies from one unit to another. Quartz Crystal Circuit, a circuit made from Septian fragments called Sepith, set into Battle Orbits to harness a variety of powers and properties. Master Quartz seems pretty much the same. Navigation does seem also pretty much the same as well. Please set Reen's Master Quartz into his Arcus 2. Master Quartz can be set in the Orbman section of the camp menu. I can actually wander around now. Seriously, this place looks so clean. Aha, here, here's our turbo. Why is it called high speed mode though? I would have preferred turbo. It sums it up quite nicely. Everything about this game though is just so much cleaner and nicer in terms of graphics and how it feels. It's nice, I like it. Anyway, opened. So it appears to be the same right now. Bridget! All right then. CP plus eight per enemy killed. Do you have anything? No, I don't want that one. I have nothing I can put there. Anything else I can do? Any costumes? I'm assuming I don't have any DLC. Oh, I can equip Reen's glasses. I do like his glasses, despite what Vander said to him. There's a DLC section, so I'm assuming that's going to come at some point. As soon as I can get a plushie on his arm, I will get it. Whoa! I can feel it working. 
Now that you've set your master quartz, you're synced with your Arcus units. You should be able to notice a significant difference in combat. All right. Okay, now this is new. How long do you intend to keep me waiting? Quite a while. The more it annoys you, the better. Sorry, Professor. We're ready. Then let's not waste any more time. Level zero begins on floor B1. The trial will be considered completed once you return to ground level. Professor, isn't that red love? Sir, you shouldn't use that. Oh, don't act like you have a lick of common sense. You're Albert's granddaughter. It's time we saw what Class 7's Special Operations is made of. I'm curious to see if you can survive with a passing score. I'm just curious to see if I can survive. Hey, watch the floor! Oh, not again. Huh? What? They were floating for a while. Right yourself and brace for the landing. Altina, you... Clown Soleus. Never mind. I like how Reen's used to this. It's got some practice in. <sighs> Did it happen again? I'm assuming so. What happened? I believe you landed on someone. This is all very, very familiar. I remember that professor talking, then the floor opened up. Um, it was Yuna, correct? Huh? Huh? My apologies, but if you could move. It's not that you're heavy, but I'm having trouble breathing. <clears throat> well then, history repeats itself. Indeed. The floor appears to be padded, so bruising should not be an issue. How strangely like the obscene positions you often find yourself in, Instructor Reen. I don't know what you mean. Please don't say things that'll give people the wrong impression. Oh, wow. I'm surprised you're already calling me an instructor. That is your current designation. Don't be an Elisa. I assure you, I didn't intend for this to happen. Then again, I suppose intent is irrelevant. I won't make any further excuses. You may hit me if it'll make you feel better. <laughs> How very admirable of you. You being so calm about it just pisses me off even more. So I think I'll take you up on that. I do hope we don't get stuck in the same kind of pattern that we did with the original Cold Steel. So that was such a bad start for Elisa, in my opinion. She got better, though. Good character now. Huh. Erebonian boys are just so... Ugh. I mean, at the moment, Reen can't exactly disagree with that, because this exact situation has happened to him back in the past. But hopefully... Yuna here does grow, similar to how to Elisa did, and it would be lovely. I'm not going to go through what I did in Cold Steel 1, because you know my opinion of that. Simple as that. I do not believe his nationality was a factor. Indeed, Altina. You were just a little unlucky. Not unlucky. I lack the expertise to make a proper landing. That resulted in embarrassment from one of my classmates. I admit my fault. Uh, I see. He's so mature for his age. Probably comes from being a Vanda. Well, minus one stinging cheek, the three of you look fine to me. So it's time to begin storming the keep. But first, I'll need each of you to show me your weapons. This whole thing is a joke, right? Do we really have to play along? I know the professor, and he isn't the type to joke around. He's serious about measuring each of our abilities. I want to learn everyone's combat styles so we can work together and get out of here safely. <sighs> Understood. These are my weapons. T 
two swords? That takes skill. You're using the Vander School's dual blade style then. I knew of it, but I've never met a practitioner. I admit our great sword style has far more notoriety, but that style also requires one to be born with a broader physique. These blades are better suited for the likes of me. I didn't realize. Well, Yuna, how about you? I'm still not down for all this, but I get it. This is a military academy, so here you go. Another dual wielder. You use side handle batons? Just like Lloyd. They look a little more complicated than that. What are they exactly? These are gunbreakers, special tonfa with guns installed, developed by the one and only CGF. They can switch between melee and mid range firing. An intriguing weapon. A crossbell guardian force, right? If I recall, First Lieutenant Orlando was once part of it. He'd left long before the occupation disbanded them, though. Good to know. We'll see how well they work in action today. You do seem to know your way around them. Uh, of course I do. I trained with them at the police academy. And they'll be way more useful than a couple of weapons as old as the Great Collapse. Hmm. But are they, though? <laughs> we'll see where everyone stands once we've engaged in actual combat. You're up next, Altina. Understood. Hold up. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. Who let a kid enroll at a military academy? She's more than a kid. I've been curious about that myself. She claimed to be with the Intelligence Division, but surely she won't be joining us in battle. Well, personally, I agree, but... There is no need for concern. My physical age is approximately 14 years old. I am no small child. F physical age? No, you're definitely small. I also have my weapon, the basis for my admittance into the Intelligence Division. Right, how you doing? Pleasure to meet you, Gov. Bit cold in here, isn't it? What the hell? This explains that black shadow I thought I saw earlier. Clown Soleus, a combat shell. The latest version of the line of special weaponry. Further details are classified. Suffice to say, it will contribute to our overall fighting strength. I really need to make a cut soon and have a sneeze I'm fighting it. Um, are things like that normal in the Empire? You'd think I'd say no, but yeah, they, yeah. Of course not. It's my first time seeing something like this, too. The Golden Rakshasa, the Ashen Chevalier, and even a girl like her. What manner of place is this branch campus? I don't blame either of you for having questions, but we can save them for another time. By the way, this is my weapon. Indeed, his lovely Tachi that we got so used to. Of course. The Tachi is used by students of the Eight Leaves One Blade School. Just like back then. Ah, I mean, it's just like the sword Arios used. Intriguing. Right. It's not an Imperial-style sword. It comes from the East. <laughs> I guess the Divine Blade of Wind is pretty famous in Crossbell, huh? A lot happened, but he still has plenty of fans. See, there's an incident of where it's like, ah, that's going to be intriguing when we do get around to that and learn what's going on with that. Again, obviously, do not tell me. Even when a certain empire has made him a wanted man. Whoopsie. Yeah, I suppose so. That covers everyone then. Let's be on our way. Still need to sneeze. We're currently on floor B1. If we make it back up to ground level, this little trial will be over. I'll give you some tips along the way on combat, how to use arts, and your Arcus units. Follow me, and proceed carefully and deliberately. <laughs> okay, let's just go. I'll give it my all. Commence mission. How about the notebook? You can open the notebook by pressing the touchpad while in the field or on the main screen of the camp menu. The notebook will automatically record information on a variety of subjects, and more tabs will be unlocked as the game progresses. In the main tab of the notebook, you can check your overall rating. The navigation log can also be found here. The minimap. It's a minimap. We know a minimap. And the party order seems the same. 
The entrance is right over there. Let's move out as soon as we're ready. Yes, sir. Uh, just what the heck is all this? All right, you may have noticed I made a cut there. That's because I had the sneeze that I was so, so wanting. So the question is, just what the heck is all this? Everyone, stop. It's a bunny. Let's kill it. A uh, monster. Right from the start. I can't believe he seriously released monsters down here. Instructor Reen, what are your orders? First off, I want to see each of your battle skills. Everyone, prepare for battle. He took his glasses off. But I'm the one who put them back on, right? That would be a nice touch. Wait, are you really going to make her fight too? Hmm? I have no issue with combat. Don't worry, I'll back you guys up. We're going in now. Stay focused, everyone. Yeah, got it. I'll show you just what I'm capable of. And counter types. I'm assuming it's gonna be the same. About assault attacks. Once you've accumulated enough assault points, you can press R2 to activate an assault attack. Unlike normal field attacks, assault attacks will trigger a battle on hit, allowing you to begin encounters with a surprise attack and maximum advantage. Okay, this seems new. Does seem pretty cool. So that's the thing in the bottom right. Our chance to attack. Triple advantage straight from the start. I like that. I like that. There's a little marker for it down at the bottom. This all seems the same so far. Roughly. Yeah. So far, I just want the sort of details that are sort of different from what we My remember turn. from Cold Steel 1 and Cold Steel 2. Because we've been playing them for quite a while now, so... We pretty much know what we're doing there. But these here enemies go. here are much easier than the it's ones we faced turn. during the prologue bit. Mainly because this is obviously a training area, as you can imagine. Enemy monsters eliminated. Phew. Not bad for our first battle. No one's hurt, right? I'm unharmed. But fine, but... Did he put his glasses back on? Um, Altina, right? You, uh, you're not bad. You are correct. <laughs> I can't keep up. Still find it hard to believe that such a thing as combat shells exist. And it seems like she's very skilled at controlling it. That much is true. But it's also true that she's younger than the two of you. You both seem experienced in combat, so I'd appreciate it if you could support her. I plan to do that from the start anyway. It doesn't seem like the monsters will be too much of a challenge, so we shouldn't have any problems. I'm sure Crossbell's cutting edge weapons will show their worth eventually. Hmm? You can definitely get the sense she's proud of her Crossbell roots. You have a difficult year ahead of you. I mean, yeah, but it can't be worse than Reen's first year at his school, surely. Don't talk like it doesn't involve you. Come on, everyone, let's keep moving. The battle tab is now unlocked in your notebook. The battle tab will automatically record information about enemies you have fought. In order to unlock all of and given enemies information, you must make numerous attacks against them or use certain arts, items, or crafts. Analysis seems the same. Yep, all this stuff seems the same so far to Cold Steel 1 and Cold Steel 2. Again, just waiting for stuff to be a bit different. Is this an augment charging station? That's right. If things get a bit too dangerous, we should come back here to rest up. Augment charging stations like this are found in particularly dangerous areas. Inspecting it by pressing X and choosing rare, I know this stuff. Right, let's give it a little test here. It would actually be nice if I could use this to actually make some new quartz and stuff like that, because I'm already have feeling that desire to sort of mess around with these sort of things. What do we have in terms of Quartzies right now. Nothing. We've got nothing. I've just noticed two Master Quartz. There's a second slot. That's interesting. An insect monster. Looks like it's got a pretty hard shell. It seems fairly agile, too. 
Enemies with either of those characteristics are best dealt with by using arts. That's exactly right, Kurt. Let's try it out. Spam it with magic! I should use that R2 thingy, shouldn't I? Well, art seems pretty much the same then. Yes, the FSC. Right, fire is what we want. We've got fire bolts. Let's use that. Here I go. I mean, we've got needle shot, but we'll use it because it's an art, so. Let's go. Same with airstrike. Uh... Need to figure out stuff like delay and stuff like that, though. Charging. Get impede. I'm assuming all those things are still relevant here. Oh, lovely. By fire, be purged. It's gonna be a lovely crit. Bosh. Behold the Vander style. Indeed, it's, it's, it's quite impressive, this Vander style, isn't it? Ah, oh, treasure chest. Oh, a lovely treasure chest. It seems to be a quartz. Yeah, one of us just said it in their augment. Well, obviously. It's like, alright, steady on there, Yuna. It's like, he's, he's just explaining it, making sure everything's right. But anyway, let's equip this quartz for FR. Speed plus 2 and HP up by 200. That might be better on Yuna. Actually, thinking about it, no, we'll go, we'll go there, because seeing as he's got a green slot. But what skills do the Master Quartzes give us at this point, anyway? Fireball, Needle, Soul, Blur. I still love that the items come straight to you. Don't have to pick them up. Another new enemy. It's a bit tiresome having to deal with them all. I think it's finally my time to shine. Oh, what are you going to do? Ah, the Gunbreakers. We're finally going to see what they can do, I take it. I was hoping they live up to all your boasting earlier. Oh, they will. Just you watch. Oh, I expected it to jump straight into the battle, but alright. We'll Triple quick. advantage there. Mode change. Press R2 to change Yuna's mode during battle. Striker mode and gunner mode. So here we want gunner mode because there's quite a few of them. Set gunner. Cross break. Or just a normal attack. Let's go there. There. Break. Break occurs when the enemy's break gauge is reduced to zero. So that's the bottom one. This will disable the enemy for a brief duration. Okay, so we really want to get that, don't we? Dealing damage to an enemy's HP will also damage its break gauge. Yeah. When break occurs, the enemy drops its held items. The enemy's turn is delayed. The enemy's status buffs are removed. Effects during break. Attacks will always unbalance the enemy. Good. The enemy's defense is reduced. The enemy cannot act for one turn. I'm up. Well, I think it's obvious what the change is going to be in this game from S breaks, because we're not going to be focusing on S breaks like we did in Cold Steel 1 and Cold Steel 2. Very well. Many much focusing on this break system, I feel. Uh, like looking at elements, using a lot of arts, that sort of thing. That definitely Behold feels like what we should style. be doing here on out. <laughs> well, how's that? That was quite good. Their suppressive fire capabilities are impressive. But the trade-off is that the gun function lacks the same power the batons have. I suppose it's all about how you use them. They're very versatile weapons. Agreed. Honestly, they're more impressive than I'd imagined. Hey, you've won him over. Ha! Huh, so you admit it. I was speaking strictly about the weapons. Their wielder is a separate matter entirely. Tell me, does one of your fancy sword moves involve pulling your head out of your ass? Um, now now, you two. About Yuna's mode change. 
Although Gunner Mode doesn't get the same attack and defense boost as Striker Mode, the range and area of your normal attacks will increase as will your counterattack range. Ooh. Generally speaking, Striker Mode should be used against a single powerful opponent while Gunner Mode is best against swarms of enemies. Yeah, forget that. You can also change Yuna's mode from the equip screen in the camp menu. Right, let's end this part here anyway. See you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.